friends, I'm getting ready to paint another painting. I'm going to paint a yellow bell pepper, but I wanted to quickly show you a couple new videos that recently went up. This is a really fun beginner painting. Um, you can practice using wet on wet brush strokes on the background and then practice your, your line work. Uh, there's a traceable up on my website. And then this is a fun poppy painting. I painted it with a palette knife. And you can follow along with this video too. It takes the pressure off of getting those. Look at look at how sweet but messy and simple those flowers are. It takes the pressure off of painting, I think. Plus you can uh, play with palette knives. You can play with knives. And then I just recently finished this rooster painting. Um, the traceable is already up on my website. I previously painted it as a palette knife, and so this is the second time painting this rooster. And I painted it with muted colors and pretty much a filbert brush, which you can check out. Okay, that's, that's enough for the commercials, huh? <laughs>
So I'm gonna take this, this color. Ooh, need a little bit more water. And I'm just gonna paint the color on. Maybe grab a little white. So I don't know if I have too much color mixed or not. Well, we'll figure that out as we go. And I guess I'd rather have too much color mixed than not enough. I'm gonna grab, see how much trouble I get in. I'm gonna I just put a little purple on the corner. Oh, and it pretty much disappeared. <laughs> we'll try that again. And normally, um, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can tell I'm kind of got my arm up a little bit too high. I would have my easel lower, but then it gets so awkward for me to stick my head in there too. Um, don't paint below your shoulder. It's much more comfortable. And you can paint a lot longer. Don't do what I'm doing. Do what I say. Okay, I'm gonna finish painting the bottom and the edges and dry it so I can flip it over. Hey, I wanted to pop in with a thought. Um, you could use artist tape or masking tape if you were concerned about getting that line straight. Um, I'm not too concerned. I might even put in some little imperfections after I paint the top half. And I think from here on out, I'm gonna do time lapse unless I think of some things that I wanna mention. microphone on. I've tried it before and it didn't work very well, but I want to try it again because I think maybe I figured it out. So leave a comment if you like it with the microphone better or if you don't. Okay, so now I've got my background painted. Um, there's a little, little touches of purple in it. I don't know if it's light enough or dark enough, but we'll, we'll know better once I get my yellow a bell pepper on there and this is just a piece of school chalk and then my uh, little t-square here so I'm gonna find the center again just to help me yeah a second why I think oh my hands probably in the way just to help me find center ish can you see that? oh you can't see that I was wondering if that was gonna be too light because I've got a, this is chalk pastel that I thought I might draw with. I still may draw with this chalk pastel because I think it'll show up better. And I have a reference photo, um, but I, it's from Unsplash, but I don't know that I have uh, the copyrights to show it on camera, so I'm just moving it down a little bit lower so I can see it better, but still out of frame. Okay, um, you can find it a pepper reference photo just about anywhere. So I'm not sure. So I'm kind of thinking, I want the stem. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at another reference photo. Cause I want to, I don't want to get too close to the top. So I think I want the stem and we'll have it come this way. So I'm just going to lightly draw a little I didn't know if you wanted to see me draw. Oh, one thing you can do is on your reference photo, you can like just cut it in half both ways. That'll help you draw too. Or you can, I have a, a video on how to grid. You can grid out your reference photo and then even put a grid on your canvas to help you draw too. Okay, now I'm gonna try and concentrate here a little bit. Not sure. 
I think that might be enough stem. All right, let's. I'm kind of drawing a reference line right now on my my reference photo. Okay, so this guy kind of has a decent dent that goes over there. Okay, I like that pretty well. And it kind of has a bump. I'm going to put that stem just a little bit higher. Okay, and then I want it to come out. I might make this a little fat. I'm going to want it to come out a little more than three fingers. But I also thought, it's what's hard for me is to talk and draw. It's actually easier for me to paint and draw. Uh, but I thought I might show you that I don't like whip it out super fast. <laughs> and I'm a little rusty at drawing. I don't draw that much now that I'm primarily painting. But the nice thing is this doesn't work. I can just wash it off. Um, this is dried overnight. I have it and I dried it really well with a hair dryer uh, before I, or when I quit yesterday, quit painting. Oh, I think that might work. And I could bring it down a little bit more. I might do that. Let's see how this looks though before I change it. So this just has a hint, a hint of a curve, but not as much of a dent as right there. And this actually kind of comes up a little bit. And the nice thing about a pepper, can you see that? I'm drawing pretty light. The nice thing about a pepper is it's a pretty simple shape and they're, they all are different shapes. Um, some are kind of lumpier than others. You really can't get it wrong. Even if you don't get it close to your reference photo, no one's gonna know what that original pepper looked like. All right, I think I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Now we'll put in a shadow. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to darken it up so you can see it better. All right, so now do I like my stem? There's just a hint of pepper that shows on my reference photo like that. And I think my stem needs to be a little bit more in the center. But I think we'll just make it a little bit stronger. I'm gonna look at, I kind of like how this other pepper, I've got one where the stem totally faces me and I've got one where it's turned a little. So I'm kind of putting uh, one reference photo for the whole pepper and then one reference photo for the stem because <laughs> I like the other stem better. And then when you get into observing things as an artist, you're an observer, you start noticing everything like that. It's kind of funny because most people don't go around wondering which way the stem should go. There, I think that's looking a little better. It was a little wimpy. Cool. I 
think that does it. It's close enough anyway. Okay. So I'm going to show you so you can see it a little bit better. And then some of the things, I'm going to go back to the time lapse, but so I'm going to use, oh, I'm going to mute down some hookers green. Um, I muted down, used just about every color in that background so that even though this is a uh, Naples yellow, so it's not a very bright yellow, it's going to look a lot brighter against the muted colors. And then I will probably use some of the purple in the shadow. Oh, I've got a little, I think I already showed you this. I got a little uh, Turner's yellow too. Okay. So let me know if you liked watching me draw this. Um, you can put as many marks, you know, how I put, I found a center line and then I just use my fingers to find, you know, so it's centered this way on the canvas and I just brought it down a little more. I still may bring it down more as I paint it, see how it looks. The shadow um, will give it some anchor too. So I want it to fill the canvas. I don't want it to be too wimpy, but I also don't want it to be too big. Um, but you really can't get it all that wrong either. I'm just, I'm just really thinking it. All right, I'm going to start the time lapse here. Um, let me know if you like this little drawing tip exercise. Friends, I think I'm finished. And as I look at my um, video, at my cell phone video, the yellow is much lighter and softer than it is in real person. 
and we'll try a closer look. Yeah, it just isn't picking up. It's not picking up the yellows very well. And it could be that it doesn't quite understand the background color. Because the background color has just, let's see if I can find an area. Oh, it's not really showing the purple. There's some purple. Oh, there's a little purple right there. So that's interesting. I ended up adding uh, pure white for the highlight because yellow is such a high light value color. Um, the shadows has some purple in it. And then I ended up making this shadow quite dark to help balance the dark stem. And then if you noticed at the end, I added little darker corners, a little darker at the bottom. Here, I'll show you my palette. Um, even though you can't see it, I added a little yellow orange and mixed it with the Turner's yellow, which is kind of a dirty yellow. Or here, there's the Turner's yellow and there's the yellow orange and I mixed the two about half and half to get just a little bit stronger color. Um, but it's not showing up. <laughs> it's not showing up in the video. Um, it might be a little bit easier to do an orange pepper. Um, that's a little bit more of a medium value or a red pepper. But of course give, um, give a yellow pepper a try if you want. What else do I need to tell you? Oh, you notice um, I did some smudging just with my finger. You know, you can uh, get in there with your fingers. You know, don't think you have to do everything with a brush. Oh, and then I also, I don't know if this is going to show. So I did a little bit of yellow glazing. So like there's a little bit of reflective light. There's a little bit of yellow glazing right in there. Um, I will make a traceable for this one. I just drew this one on and I'll get it up on my website. So if you don't aren't comfortable drawing and you want to paint this, it's really good to paint paint simple things, paint pears, paint peppers. It's a good way to practice. And then I'm just trying to entertain the viewer with a little bit different colors here and there, different brush strokes, that sort of thing. You know, some smudgy textures. I think that's it. Um, if there's any questions you have, uh, leave them in the comments. Be sure to like this video. I was listening to someone um, teaching people about how to do YouTube videos and they're they were saying that I should ask you to like this video because that actually helps me more than the subscribes, which I have no idea if that's right or, <laughs> but I appreciate it. I appreciate all your support. I appreciate you spending your time with me. Great big art hugs. I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.